Say something loud. Hello, everybody. Happy to Wednesday. <laughs> Kyla, bark. Bark. <laughs> oh, we're looking for loud stuff. That's not a loud thing. Say something. Who is there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Good girl. Who's there? <laughs> make sounds, make sounds, make sounds. <laughs> All right, we're just kind of winging it here. We wanted to find a different spot than usual, other than like Church A or a park by my house or literally my house. And uh, so we came downtown to try to find like a parking garage. I haven't been striking out. So we were driving by and I saw this great looking little spot here on the, the Indianapolis Canal. And so we're gonna kind of duck down in there and that's where we're gonna conduct our uh, little volume testing. Luckily, it's kind of a rainy day. That's why we're looking for an indoor spot, but having it be wet is also going to prevent there from being a lot of other people so hopefully this spot will work great <laughs> no one's noticing or thinking anything we're good <laughs> luckily spots right here all right so we got a nice covered spot here doesn't look like there's too many people walking around but yeah we can use this kind of space maybe go a little bit further maybe see what's up there <laughs> all right let's do it <laughs> oh, okay, so after having dealt with this massive beast that makes an absurd amount of noise, I kind of started to ask the question of how can we make stuff like this quieter? And one of the obvious answers to me was more propellers. Actually, it wasn't obvious. I don't know why that is the case, but for whatever reason, every time I've played with more blades for a propeller on any given drone, it always seems to be quieter. So I'm going to go ahead and set this thing aside. <clears throat> And we're gonna play with a couple different Shen Drone squirts. We've got our three blade, a five blade, and a six blade Shen Drone squirt. And we've, I brought out a measuring tape and we're gonna measure out distances away to be able to use this app, which I just purchased, that uh, is a decibel sound meter. It's probably not the most accurate thing in the world, but at least we'll get some sense of what uh, each of the loudnesses of each of these drones are at a given distance so that we can definitively say, does more props mean more quieter? So my idea is that sound is different at different distances, so I brought a measuring tape out to a random walkway on the canal, which is super bizarre. But uh, so we're gonna do one measurement of the audio at, let's just say like right in front of it, one at 10 foot. 10 feet is longer than I thought. So like there-ish, and then this goes all the way out to 35 foot. Here, step on that. and uh, we'll be able to get a sense of how different of a volume each of these drones are compared to each other. Like out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the three blade propeller, do each of the distances, then the five, then the six, and then we'll compare the results. This is uh, zero range. It's actually pretty quiet. Eighty-three. Now here's the ten foot mark here. And then we'll just go all the way out to thirty-five. Seventy-three. Surprisingly, not that loud. Actually, that, usually I'm used to scores being a little bit louder than that, so that was good. So now we'll switch over to the five-blade version. One thing that I wish I would have done differently about this test is to go to like a quieter spot, somewhere where like the bass noise level is a lot lower. So like right here, just sitting without me talking, it's like 65 decibels. Where I think if we could have a lower noise floor to where it's like much quieter, and then we do the test, it would be clearer the difference between each of the drones. But since we're just doing a relative test of drone against drone, we can see that X is, you know, 10% quieter than Y. And that's the whole point. So with that, let's jump into the five blade drone. We're expecting this to be quieter. We're gonna start at a zero distance. So we're seeing 82. I want to make sure that this is focused there. All right, now we're gonna move down to the 10 foot mark, which I can't see because this keeps blowing it over. <laughs> 
So this is 10 foot away from the phone. What are we seeing? So it was 84, now it's 78, 80. All right, and now we'll go down to the far end. Down here at 35 foot, what are we seeing? Hi, sorry. Uh, just YouTube videos. How much they disrupt people on their romantic walks. Okay, here we go. So for 35 foot, 73, 74, so it's still quieter. It definitely sounds quieter to me. Like the drone is, it's got a little bit higher of a pitch with the five blade. I wouldn't say it's like mind blowingly quiet, but it's definitely a little bit quieter than the three blade. And it seems to fly all right. Oops, hi, sorry. So yeah, I mean, even with the GoPro, it's still a little bit quieter than the three blade was with the GoPro. Definitely not absurdly different, but you know, enough that it could help something. And I think it still flies really well. Like I don't have any issues doing the maneuvers that I would want to do with a squirt normally. We've tested the three blade is a little bit louder than the five blade. And now we've also got a six blade, which I accidentally threw in the water trying to get the thumbnail for this picture. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's still good. But this one should presumably by that logic be a little bit quieter than the other two. I don't have a GoPro mount, so I'm gonna strap the GoPro in with the battery. It'll be fine. Okay, let's see if this blows up. Oh. Please. Please. No. No flight controller. All right, we gotta move some props over. There we go, prop tool. So we are onto the final drone. It's now the hex blades, like that. Hopefully this is the quietest one. Otherwise our theory is useless. Here we go. Zero distance. That, to my ears, that sounds quietest, even though it's a little bit more shrill. 82. 82? We were getting like, what, 84, 86 before? Yep. All right, out to 10 foot. <laughs> 77. Out to 35. Uh, yeah, so we tested each of the different props. They're all loud, <laughs> that's for sure. And I would say that the, uh, the hex props were in my ears, like the quietest sound, um, but probably like also the most shrill. So I don't know if it's any like less penetrating than squirt sounds already were. But yeah, I think the pitch of the sound that was coming off of it was a little bit higher. So it might carry further, I'm not really totally sure. But you know, just watching the app, watching the phone, we can definitely see that the three blade was louder than the five blade was louder than the six blade, even if just by a little bit. So if you're trying to reduce noise, I guess maybe that's one of the things that you can do. Now, now that we're pretty much done with this test, let's compare it to the big boy. This is the most loud thing I've ever heard in my entire drone career. And that includes like EDF ducted things, like absurd things. So Winston's gonna point that camera at himself because he's never heard it before. And we're just gonna take off. That's about it. We're gonna pack up and run. <laughs> Got the meter running. Hey. All right, here we go. So it's not so bad when it's on the ground, right? Wait till it takes off, though. <laughs> I can't even count. All right, that's it. That's enough. <laughs> it's so loud. That was like, and that's unloaded. There's no payload or anything like that. <laughs> it's just like. Ah! So I don't know exactly how useful this video has been. It was kind of fun to just mess around with, you know, whether or not different props would create different levels of noise for flying. I mean, obviously it's not really that useful. Drones are loud. They're gonna make noise no matter what. But, you know, maybe if you're flying, for example, in a place like this where you might not want to disrupt as many people, um, where you can still, you're allowed to fly, but you just like, want to be conscientious, I guess you could lower the volume a little bit by trying out some different blades. So it's fun to be out here experimenting, try a couple different things, do some, uh, some amount of science here. <laughs> and uh, I, I think that at least we've learned a little bit about how, how drones can work and how we could be using them in different ways. So thanks very much for watching and stay flying.